Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so yeah, yesterday I showed you pretty much um, my hair came out to be. Because um, this is like the first time I've done my whole head. I have done like, what, 20, 2017? Yeah, I did like the front of my hair, like I tried to braid it. Um, it was an epic fail, but I finessed it and made it look decent. It wasn't the color that was in my head, so it really looked nuts. By the way, this is my son again. <laughs> he said he wanted to be in my video. So, um, but yeah, it, it, I was able to make it look decent because I was working at a gym at the time. And um, yeah, so this is truly like the first time that I've done my whole entire head. Um, I'm gonna stand up for you because it's pretty long. I was braiding like all the way down. Yes, it took me three days and it only took me three days because I'm a mom, you know, I gotta no, make it sure. Took three years. It took her three years. I, I had to make sure my kids were straight. So um, anyway, so yeah, this is what the length of it looks like. Put everything 
in a rubber band, so section it off, put everything in a rubber band, and then try to crochet the hair, kind of like take a crochet hook, um, go underneath the rubber band, and like take the hair over and loop it like I could crochet it. That was an epic fail. It did not work. And I had some other hair, which that hair was trash and I didn't use it. Um, I should show you, but it's still by the same line. It's Urban Beauty. It's still by this line, but it wasn't pre-stretched or pre-feathered or anything like that. It was still little, you know, janky one bundle hair, but it didn't like have the pre-feathered and all that. So it was like awful to deal with. And I probably won't buy that again. This hair that I bought, I think, is great especially for beginners you don't have to do all that you know extra stuff that you would normally have to do um but yeah that hair was awful so um anyway when i stuck oh that's another thing um i got this method that i used because i was going to say that crochet method didn't work so i found um a, a youtuber by the name of beauty can braid she is so detailed super skilled she's fantastic amazing and what she did which i uh, can't i can't remember what number i think it might be number 413 that i looked at but her stuff is um numbered and but what i can tell you is if you look at her video that says if you have a gripping problem because I, I i i can't grip at all i've tried doesn't work. That's why I like to use the crochet method or um, rubber bands, which to be honest with you, when she did her method, it had no rubber bands. Like she braided it. It was like little individual braids, which this is actually how I crochet my hair and I'll show that to you guys when I actually do it. Um, like I said, this time I just didn't want to do that because it was the first time and I promise you, like I do have, like if you see here, like there's pieces of hair that are kind of out, which um, looking at other videos too, um, there's certain products that people, people were using like Jam and I think Eco Styler and that probably would have helped me to have like a straighter ends because my hair is coarse and super curly and it's not easy to get through so trying to find something to straighten my hair a little bit more when i'm braiding would be fantastic so i'm probably going to use those in the future and see how that works for me that way maybe my hair won't be peeking through but it's not too awful um you know, like i said it's i can still finesse it even though plus um you also said that you did very good on the right side of your I did, yeah, like, the, and that he means the sizing, like, the sizing on this side was fantastic because by the time I got to the left side, I was, like, on point. I was like, oh, you know, I know how much hair to pull out, you know, whatever, whatever, but the Ow. right side, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, right. but the right side is a little skinnier because I wasn't sure how much hair I should, you know, like, pull Use. out. Yeah, like, how much how much hair to put and crochet in. But like I said, the, the method, if you do not know how to braid the, your hair and latch on, all that stuff, go to Beauty Kim Braid. She has like 1.3 million followers, so you know she's fantastic. Go to Beauty Kim Braid, look for um, like beginner friendly if you can't grip or if you need help gripping or something like that she will show you her method because she'll crochet hair in and then she'll take a second piece and put it in the front of the hair and then you're able to wrap it around and then you can braid like regular like luckily I do know how to plait um, so that wasn't the problem but yeah the gripping is just like awful for me I can't do that part um anyway so yeah the other reason why I took three days is because because I didn't know what size I wanted to do you see how small these braids are and I mean I braided them all the way close to the end on most of them 
So, yeah, it took a minute. Like, it took... I think it took it about, like, 15 minutes just to do one braid. Yeah, like, yeah. one braid. Yeah, he's that's right. It, that's all, that's another reason why I took one braid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's another reason why I took her three days also, because these braids are pretty small. They're yeah. small. So, um, I think in the future, if I don't want skinny, small braids, and they're not super skinny, but they're, I would say, close to small medium you know like a little bit under medium then yeah I'll have to like size bigger um, another thing that I did that was a little epic fail is the parting when I was like parting everything this section up here is like like wider squares and then when I started getting here it was like smaller rectangles so it's a little bit too much spacing right here. And then I tightened the spacing in the back, which like I said, I didn't realize it. If I probably would have started in the back and spaced it out and then like got smaller in the front, it probably would have worked out. But like I said, since I can't see in the back, I was just kind of nervous and it being like my first time doing my whole entire head, I was just like, uh, ah, you know, so, um, yeah, that's why I didn't do that, and that's why it's kind of spaced out here. But like I said, I'm still really proud of myself. I still think it looks good. It's not awful. It's not horrible, you know. And I didn't have to spend too much dollars, so that's a good thing. Um, Wait, the other. Can I also say it was another epic fail? What's my epic fail? So, uh, remember yesterday when you tried to like. Put a uh, when you tried to make your hair like into a bun, mm -hmm. and then you was like you barely got any sleep just because it was uh, kind of tight. Yeah. Yeah, I um. What he's referring to is I put it, I took everything up and you know put it on top of my head just to like take a shower and stuff like that, and I left it like that to go to sleep. And I'm thinking, you know, oh, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I had it. Like I hadn't dipped it in hot water, which I I don't know whether I do hot water or not next time. Um, I don't know. I feel I kind of felt like the hot water did a little bit of disturbance when it came up to here because some of the product that made my hair kind of lay down in the braid kind of came out because of the steam. But um, anyways, whatever. I didn't dip like my hair in water like last night I did it today so I'm thinking okay well I can just do that and it's gonna stay whatever I cannot sleep because my head was hurting it was because it still felt I think all the heaviness just you know made it seem like my head was tight when it really isn't you know like it's not that it's not like super tight but not like if you're going to like a braiding salon type like it's you know, decently to the scalp so that I can get the crochet hook in, but because it was on the top of my head, yeah, I couldn't get any sleep. So I was exhausted. So I drank some coffee today, and I'm still tired. <laughs> and plus, uh, when she was doing, um, um, yesterday when she was doing, finishing up her hair, she barely even ate anything. All I know, and yeah, I was on starvation mode. I mean, not real starvation mode, but that's fictitious, but yeah, I really, um, and I haven't even told you guys about my um, intermittent fasting journey, which I will do a video about that. I also need to do a video about, I was telling you about the nails that um, I purchased from like a couple months ago or so, and I said I was going to do a review on it. Um, so I will do that as well. Um, but to wrap this video up, because it's getting like entirely too long. It's literally like, almost 15 minutes. Well, no one needs to know that. So, <laughs> people need to know that. Um, this is the wrap lotion that I used, to be honest with you. I didn't have any wrap lotion, and I just needed my husband to get something um, because he was out. And I mean, it, it was fine. It wasn't crazy. It's. Um, it's cream of nature with argan oil, which, you know, of course, is supposedly great and, you know, moisturizing and all that. And you want to have your hair moisturized. So that's what I had. Um, I have, 
I've had this for a while and I like to use it just because it helps with thinning, the thinning of the hair. This right here is ORS Fertilizer Serum. Um, so I put that like throughout the parts and stuff. And when I was like way younger, some way, somehow I ended up having some weirdo bald spot um, in my head. I have and, bald spots. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and my mother put this, she put it in the bald spot and we kept rubbing it and rubbing that same bald spot and Wait, is that like my hair magically came back and I was like, okay, cool. Is that literally the same the one? Um, <sighs> and then what about this? Um, and then this is just Manoi oil. It's from the same line, or ORS, um, that I just sprayed in there. It says anti-breakage rejuvenating cream. And then I used Eco Style Gel and really it's because this is the only gel that I really have. Um, I used that to like put on my hair before I latched in any of the braids and I also used a edge control. Um, it was just, it was Carol Daughter's edge control. I used some of that and I also used, um, I think it's, is it Hicks? I think it's Hicks edge control to be honest with you. Both of those edge controls suck for my hair. It never works, but I just needed something and I didn't want to buy something if I already had something. So um, that's why I was like, uh, did I say Eco Styler? Mm. Yeah, you did. That's sad. You just said it. <laughs> I know, I said, but I was saying Eco Styler earlier and it's another edge control that I can't remember that people are using like for the front. Like the one that you use? No, uh -uh. Uh -huh. because this, Eco Styler for my edges, it doesn't work either. Like oh, I'm right telling right. you, like my, my hair is curly and my hair does not want to be straight, like oh. at all. I mean, I'm cool with whatever, you know, it's my hair, but it just, it won't want to stay straight. So, um. Do you want me to like show them the one that you tried to use? No, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. So yeah, those are pretty much the products that I used to do my hair. Of course, a crochet hook was necessary. I took a little bit of scissors to, you know, the top, but not really because it, you know, when you do the hot water and all that other stuff, it's not really that big of a deal. At least for me, I didn't feel like it's a big deal. And because this is like blonde, this is 613, it's super bright, super light. Nobody's gonna be like, ooh, I see flyaways, you know? So um, I was just like, you know, I did a little bit of scissors and yeah. But I will say another remedy that I do like to do, um, say if you do something like this and your hair does stick out, and I did this for a couple of them, you take a crochet hook and you go through your braid and you pull your hair through the braid and try to make it like mesh well with the fake hair. Um, and that's something I'll probably show you guys when I do my like crochet hair. I love doing that. I usually have, um, like last year, I did it before I cut all my hair off. Um, and by the way, guys, I'm like natural. Um, but I love doing the goddess locks in blonde. <laughs> As you see, I love blonde. And, I think your favorite yeah, color. Right now, it's my favorite. Ever since I turned 25, Blonde has just been it. I used to be a red girl, but yeah, I'm completely a blonde girl. Wow. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a minute. But, so yeah, I'll show you guys how I do my crochet, or my crochet hair in a future video. So, anyway, um, my fan, I love my, I love my little geisha fan. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys, um, you know, will try to do braids yourself try to not spend the money and like I said if you go to Beauty Can Braid she is a fantastic mentor like I promise I would never have been able to do this at the mediocrity that I did and I'm hoping that I will get better um, if, I, if it wasn't for me going to her video page so Anyway, like I said, my son will be having a YouTube channel very soon, his silly self, um, and you guys need to stay tuned for that if you have any kids that love 
gaming is your go-to god. So, that being said, deuces. No. <laughs> Bye, y'all.